Hi, welcome again. Now we are looking at the road in front of my house and it's not in a good shape. But it's a perfect place to do a 3D scan and see how it looks like inside Unreal Engine. Now we are looking at the same road rendered inside Unreal Engine. So let me play the game. It's, it's basically it's super realistic and this is a nanite mesh. I use reality capture to like do a 3D scan and it look really amazing. And the cooler thing is this is a single piece and this is the same piece just duplicated and let me duplicate another copy right since this is nanite and quite high poly they, they blend really nice together and i can do like it's pretty amazing so i, I have a lot of ideas to like do something with this for example i can create a nanite based uh, uh, road tool uh, maybe some scattering options and there are so many ideas that i uh, I can think of also in the upcoming months i'm trying to scan lots of uh, objects basically environment stuff and trying to see uh, trying to find out uh, workflow in unreal engine so how we can use them and of course build some procedural tools around that but, but this is not a tutorial uh, of, about 3d scanning uh, so basically it's just an overview and what i'm trying to do in the next couple of months uh, but if you're really interested about doing 3d scanning i added some links in the description so you can follow uh, through them and of course you can download all these measures and uh, even the source files in my patreon I'm, I'm trying to do a lot of scans like this in the future and of course patreon is the place to like get those updates and i'll talk more about that at the end of this video all right let's get started all right now you have seen my road i actually took a couple of uh, pictures actually not couple of about like 195 pictures uh, going here and there so basically yep rotating around the that place and also i go over through the yeah like they use a mirrorless camera to get these pictures so they need to be in a sharp focus uh, as you can see over here so then uh, i did some color correction basically yeah i remove some of the stuff and of course you can learn more about these things in the in the 3d scanning videos that i mentioned in the description right and then i export these files uh these uh enhanced files i guess and then i i loaded them into reality capture so basically the first thing is you load these individual ima images into reality capture so in this case 195 images basically you just need to drag these images over here so then uh, you need to create a process called aligning and then you need to create a mesh uh, out of that so basically after that i get a like really high density mesh over here so basically it has like 162 median triangles and it's quite high density you can see over here so this is the same uh, same road piece that i scanned and you can see these are not actually textures these are actually vertex colors as you can see over here create capture cannot render this amount of polygons in this software so that's why we are simply looking at this point cloud version i guess so then after that i i can down sample that into like a two million uh, triangle uh yeah something like that so i i use this as a nanite version of this mesh right now you can see that so then i can go to the view option i can look look, look at the actual mesh with the textures so it will take some time time to load right now you can see the actual mesh over here and it's it's quite nice so then what i try to do is uh, i'm gonna export this mesh into uh blender so basically simply export at fbx which blender understand and then i'm gonna load that into blender and do some modification so let me show you that process it's quite simple actually right now we are inside blender and now we can see our mesh uh, so basically what I try to do is I there are some like uh, jagged areas here and there I simply uh, remove them uh, using blender and I, I try to like uh, create a cut like this So then I it looks nice uh, Idea is you uh, bring this mesh into uh, blender or any other 3d software that you you family with and you simply do some cleanup once you're done with this you're gonna export this mesh again uh, so as a obj file or maybe uh, fbx it doesn't matter so we only need the triangles so we get that mesh again into reality capture so so basically here we have option to like import a model so basically uh, this is the imported one so uh, i clean that in in blender and i i got that so then again uh, there are some issues here and there i i can do some uh, cleanup inside the uh, Reality capture as well. I did some cleanups. So basically, I so basically I can show you. So basically, I go to this tool section. I'm gonna select the lasso tool, and I 
I'm gonna select some of the area and you can filter it out so basically you can remove that so something like that I did that uh, and reality capture uh, so it always nice to do uh, something like that in blender so you have more control but of course you can do some fine tune here as well so this is a nanite 3d uh, version with about like 1.7 million triangles and i'm going to export this as fbx which i don't really understand so once we have that it's quite easy so basically you need to simply drag the mesh into unreal fbx in unreal and you can get that and here you don't need to like get the uh, material only the mesh and uh, nanite mesh uh, and then you have virtual textures so basically you need any virtual textures in your project and simply uh, drag the the first texture for example over here go to import and this you, you, so here we have four textures because of the udims i'm going to set the first one then it will import the older others as well included as a virtual texture that's cool and i'm going to do the same thing for the normal as well right then after that i simply need to create a simple material something like this so we got the texture over here base color virtual texture and the normal and like this and I here did some trick to uh, add some roughness and a specular so that's quite uh, cheap <laughs> and, and a shortcut uh, I might have to do something uh, about this later on all right now let's talk about what I'm trying to do with this thing so basically in the coming months I'm gonna do a lot of the 3d scanning and trying to understand the nanite workflow in unreal and maybe after that i can think about some uh, way we can use this and uh, build some procedural tools around that so i'll be creating lots of 3d objects especially environmental related thing and i'm gonna upload them into my uh, patreon so you can grab them uh, rather than waiting for the final product so you can see what i'm trying to do uh, what are the some of the experiment i do and some of the things that i fail to do i guess so uh yep and uh, i think it will be really interesting and if you want to join my patreon and you can have access to all these source files and yep everything all right um that's it for today uh see you soon uh with something interesting bye